Hello, this is Eric of Sparky Studio and welcome to my review of the Meono PD400X. Now this is a bit more expensive compared to the PD200X. We're going to compare audio quality between the both. But what we want to find out is if this of course is worth your money and find out keyboard sounds as well. So I have a nice fairly quiet mechanical keyboard here. And then I have my DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor, very clicky. So we're going to test noise rejection between the both as well. Now let's get started. Sparky Studio. Yeah. Included in the package, we have an XLR cable, USB with USB type C to the microphone, with USB type A, we can see right here that rectangular, to USB C underneath. For other accessories, we have a little stand to attach our microphone to with some definite weight to this and some big thick foam to avoid those plosives. Now it is pretty snug, I see, or I should say I feel. Oh yeah, that's some really thick foam. We have a flat profile, we have a low cut, and we have, it seems kind of like a vocal boost on the one. These settings only work when connected to USB, as we see here. When connected to XLR, none of your power settings work. It's all through the audio interface. Here is our headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter type. And here is our settings button. So we press this, we can change the volume of headphone, microphone, or the mix of the two. And this is our mute button up here. Only available, and only available, connected to USB type C. A couple of important specifications to note. This has an SPL of greater than 130. I can shout about up to 130 SPL. Any greater than that, volume wise, is going to cause distortions. That sounds like clipping, but it's not clipping. Do not use 48 volts phantom power with this microphone. You can, of course, use a preamp. Then that preamp will use 48 volts phantom power to give you more boost to the microphone. With the foam on, you're not going to have problems with plosives so much unless you're really going crazy up close to the microphone. Now let's go record to PC. XLR through the microphone. Are you going to hear anything on the headphones? I hear nothing. So connecting through headphones, let's go USB and find out if I can hear anything using USB connection type. If I want to use my headphones, I could simply connect this microphone to a battery bank, a USB power source, and I can use the headphones just fine. Now, I want to find out how this sounds when connected to USB. So let's quickly do a USB test while I show you the software for this microphone. My Meono PD400X directly from Meono's website. I have a discount code in the description below to save you some money. So feel free to do that. Now let's find the software, Meono link. So we're going to go to software and go to download. And you're going to enter your email address or create an account. I just need to go to my microphone choice and I can now uncompress that. Extract all and extract and now I'm going to go to run the software and I'm going to go to this cog. Let's see what happens. We can check for firmware. We can see the version right now and let's update our firmware and see if there is an update and there is. So I'm going to update that right now. Equalizer is currently flat and let's go to high pass, presence boost, high pass with presence boost. But my mouth sounds more clicky, I find, at least in my particular speech, using that setting versus this setting. Now, I can, let's see, I can choose custom modes, and this is giving me a weird sound with uh, equalizer off and with equalizer on. Now, I can adjust this manually to give whatever tone I want, so I can actually get a presence boost plus nice bassy tone. And I'm going to go to advanced because this is the setting I really like to use versus off so we are off and let's turn that back on that was custom equalizer on advanced mode i'm going to click confirm 
Now we have different settings here we can check out like limiter and this is going to limit our maximum volume. As I scroll down we can see the maximum volume is changed and we go back up and I can choose compressor and let's see how that affects the sound. And a compressor is going to make it so I generally shouldn't clip the audio. And uh, let's turn that off and let's go to noise gate. Noise gate is going to give us a different tone as well as we can hear that. And go back up and go back up and that's our noise gate test. Now we also have different settings for our headphone volume. So the headphones I'm wearing right now to monitor this and I can choose if I want more to PC or more to microphone for monitoring my mix. Now I can also go to standard mode and choose if I want deep or legacy or bright or legacy or natural for my tone. It's not making much of a difference right now, but I can also choose near. This should make more of a difference here. And now near to the microphone within uh, five centimeters. Actually, I'm within about three centimeters of the microphone. Let's go to deep and let's go to bright and let's go to legacy and see if we can hear any difference. I do prefer to use a mid because I do like to be able to be a distance away from my microphone. But I also want to test to see if we can hear any difference in hiss. So let's listen to that without me speaking. I'm going to click on near. So that's our little test to see if there's a difference in hiss sound based upon what setting we use. Now if I go far away I can speak far away from the microphone. Right now I am actually longer distance than a foot. I'm about a foot and a half away from the microphone that I'm speaking away. How am I coming through? Speaking that distance away and let's go near to the microphone and I'm now near to the microphone. How am I coming through? This should give me the best sound possible and let's go the mid distance away again with me speaking and right now I am about that 11 centimeter mark or so away from the microphone. Right now we're listening to this Meono PD400X connected to my Android mobile phone, USB-C to USB-C on this microphone. How am I coming through? We can see the light for the volume button. It is off, so it still works properly with an Android mobile phone. And you can get Meono Link software for this mic. Really cool stuff. And just to verify, this is the microphone I'm speaking through. Let's plosive this. And there you go. That is your test. How am I coming through with Android Mobile? Again, open camera is the one you use or else your audio might be a hissy mess. Mic test, mic test, one, two, three. Right now we're listening to USB connected to PC recorded through OBS software. We have my equalizer set to advance and this is the audio tone I'm testing that I prefer to use. How am I coming through? Connected to USB. Now let's switch over to XLR. Right now you're listening to XLR connected to my Tascam audio interface. XLR and USB of this PD200X and XLR and USB of this fine fine AM8 to find out which one is the best to you. Right now I'm using natural tone. There is no equalizer or extra modification to the tone of this, just to make it fair as possible for every single one. Listen for those S tones and other artifacts in the sound, if there's any at all. The fox with socks jumped into the box. His fur shone like the sun. When the fox runs, he runs down, down, down. Down, down, down the darkish hole. The fox with socks jumped into the box. His fur shone like the sun. When the fox runs, he runs down, down, down. Down, down, down the darkish hole. We're now listening to the PD200X. Let's listen to that same line. The fox with socks jumped into the box. His fur shone like the sun. When the fox runs, he runs down, down, down. Down, down, down the darkish hole. The fox with socks jumped into the box. His fur shone like the sun. When the fox runs, he runs down, down, down. Down, down, down the darkish hole. We're now listening to the fine, fine AM8T. The T itself is the mic stand. Now, one thing to note is this is much quieter to PC, and that means I'll have to boost more in post because the volume is nowhere near the same as the other two from Meono. The fox with socks jumped into the box. His fur shone like the sun. 
When the fox runs, he runs down, 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 down the darkish hole. The fox with socks jumped into the box. His fur shone like the sun. When the fox runs, he runs down, 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 down the darkish hole. Between these three different microphones, it is this fine, fine microphone that doesn't hold as stable and wiggles around easier, especially when connecting XLR versus USB. Now, if you want to know how to make it more stable, watch my review of this microphone. I provide that extra information in my reviews on purpose. You'll thank me later if you buy that fine, fine AM8 microphone. It is now time for a noise rejection test. Now, when it comes to the noise profile of this microphone, how much noise it rejects, we're going to test with the keyboard. But first of all, let's check how it reacts when talking from above, from behind, and everything else. Mic test, one, two, three. 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 And back to the front again. Now, let's check out with the keyboard. And these ones are linear switches, I believe, which make them quieter than most mechanical keyboards. Let's do the WSD keys, spacebar, and the rest of the keys again. Now let's switch over to a loud mechanical keyboard. My speed editor. Now let's switch microphones. Loud mechanical keyboard. Linear keyboard. WSD keys. Spacebar. All the keys again. And now our fine, fine microphone. Let's do our sad W keys. Spacebar. And let's go to our mechanical keyboard. So how was that for a test of noise rejection between these three microphones? The Mayono PD400X, should you get it? Well, it has great sound to USB and to XLR, but we have a problem. This problem is not affected really by game streaming or podcasting real time. Real time. Now that's the key feature here. But if you plan to boost in post edit, the hiss, the self noise of this microphone becomes apparent. But that self noise is the biggest issue when boosting in post. If I boosted over three decibels, usually I could start to hear it. And that bothered me. If I hit seven decibel boost, I definitely hear it big time where I didn't seem to notice as much on this microphone or this microphone. If you appreciate the honesty of this review, please consider subscribing to Sparky Studio and help this channel grow. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.